Hi guys, welcome to week 10 of our Cromwell uh, Road project, uh, sorry, Cromwell Lane project. This is the four bed um, HMO for supported living. Um, so this week we've uh, mostly done the uh, fireboards in the kitchen, uh, a lot of bonding on the walls, which uh, actually we'll talk about shortly, uh, and then some tiling in the bathroom. Uh, we were able to negotiate, a, 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 we, had, we were able to negotiate a bit of a discount with the builder, um, just due to what's going on. Um, but actually, we'll, we'll fill, you in, we'll, um, fill you in on that with more details. Okay, let me turn it around. So, it friends, mate. So, what I will do is quickly run around. Uh, again, it's you know fairly small property, four bedrooms, and I will show you what the main progress that we've made this week. So one thing that you're gonna see throughout the whole property is a lot of bonding. Um, so you can see where we've chased the first fix electrics. Also in that corner over there where we've chased the first fix plumbing, you will see a lot of bonding all around the property now. Um, the gentleman that was doing the bonding has just left because I touched the bonding as I came in here and left yeah. the fingerprints. <laughs> So, in the kitchen diner, uh, you can see we have fireboard in the ceiling, so we're just waiting for that to get skimmed. Now again, you can see there's a lot of bonding, uh, ultimately, all, all around. The walls weren't in great condition. Now, just going back to what Tu was just speaking about with regards to a discount. Now, we know this project has uh, there's a bit of lag, there's been a, bit, a few delays. Um, initially, when the decorators came in to actually strip the walls, they informed us that the walls weren't of the best quality. Yeah. Which now, we knew anyway. Yeah, which yeah. we knew, which we knew. Yeah. But basically at that time, it was just, you know, we're trying to keep costs down on, on, the, on the project. So what we said is, is if we can just, you know, sand down the walls, bond where needed, um, and just make good as best as possible, then, then that's something that we will we'll, we'll do. We were presented at that time with a couple of options, which was plastering the whole house or getting lining paper throughout the whole house, um, both of which were you know, a fairly decent cost, which we wanted to stay away from. Now, the builder came back to me at the start of the week um, with the decorator and basically said, look, these walls are, are really bad. Uh, so we will, you know, we, we can make good just about, but they're not going to be in a very good Good condition the chances are that you know over the next few years they're, they're going to start to fall apart again now as we've pretty much gone well i wouldn't say it's back to brick but we've stripped out this whole house and we're doing full works it makes sense for, for us to actually get the plastering done now what the builder has has actually done kindly for us is because the project is running uh, you know a little bit behind schedule he's actually gave us a discount on plastering the whole property um, so ultimately it's a win-win, it's a win-win for the investor because now he knows that sort of the final piece of the jigsaw is being done in the plastering and he's not going to have to touch this property again for a number of years so it's, it's a win-win for us, um, it works, ultimately it's, it's what we want from our, our, our normal finishes at times we have to deviate and we have to be agile but ultimately it's, it's, it's what we wanted in here so it works for us what we'll do is, let's walk upstairs So, stair lift, you guys have seen the stair lift in here from, from day one. Now, the reason why the stair lift hasn't been taken out yet is we have got the second step come, but that stair lift, um, the builders can't seem to manage to break it up at the moment. So, it's like one big piece. Um, so, if anybody fancies coming in and smashing up an old stair lift, then maybe getting out some anger, <laughs> then feel free to come. Um, so yeah, back into this room. As previously mentioned, this wall wasn't originally insulated, so you can see we've got some insulation in there, um, and we're gonna be putting some more insulation in that wall. Couple of the holes that were previously in the wall from the flue from the old gas heater, that's been filled up also. Um, can we probably get an example? I wanna see if we can get an example of the wall. No, to be fair, we've, we've bonded most of most of the walls and all the bad areas, so you can have a look up there. See that too, where it's all been all been bonded. Um, but let's let's just take this wall for example. Now, for anybody that's a painter or a decorator, it's, it's probably going to be one of your worst nightmares. So just look on this this piece of wall here. 
So we've got some imperfections here. We've got a hole there, small hole there, chip there, chip down there, chip down there, chip down there, chip down there. And ultimately what we've asked the decorator to do is fill, sand and make good. Now, I know you guys always want to come into a freshly plastered, nice flat wall. Um, and, and that's what we're going to have on this project in the end. Into, I think this is actually the largest room, isn't it too? So again, a lot more bonding being done. Um, a lot of the larger holes have actually been filled up. But now that we're going to be plastering, obviously we're going to just make good all the walls in this property, which is really good. And finally, so all the doors are already in, but you can see some good progress here with our bathroom, sorry, shower room and separate WC. So you can see for the most part the tiling's been done. All we've got to do is get uh, a decent extractor fan in, in there, somewhere over there towards the wall. But yeah, it's looking good. Um, nice bright colour. Obviously we've got that large window, so it's going to be looking really good. So a couple of weeks uh, away on this project, so it really is foot on the gas time now to, to, to ultimately get everything done in time. Um, but yeah, Plastering's next. Once this whole whole sort of house is plastered, um, then it's going to be ready for painting, and it's just going to be a matter of getting the kitchen in, and then just the small jobs. Cool. Alright, guys. Hopefully that's been helpful, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye.